get out of the blocks last week. Was that by design, considering NC State's defensive line? Yeah, we knew they had a uh, really good D-line coming into the game. <clears throat> and our game plan was to come in and, and throw the ball around and uh, let our guys on the outside make plays. Um, and I, I feel like we executed that well. And, and our running backs know that there's going to be weeks where they have to run for you know a lot of yards for us to win games. Um, so they're, I mean, they're not selfish group. They're they're just glad we won. But yeah, our game plan going into that game was the was to get the ball out fast and um, attack them through the air. Jake, you 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 probably saw what Drew Locke did uh, last week, in Missouri. Do you look at this game as a shootout between you and him? You know, he's a he's a great quarterback. Um, he has a lot of they they have a great offense. Um, but the name of the game is just to. To score more points than them, you know, whether that's, you know, it's 14 to 10 or, or you know, 70 to 60. I mean, our goal is to, to score more points than them, and that's what we're going to try to do. But, um, you know, we're going to come in there with the same mindset as we do every other game, and that's just uh, want to score on every drive. And um, if we can do that, we'll be fine. A lot of people have looked at your team and their team kind of as mirror images of each other with Drew being just a, a year older. How much of your game do you see in him and vice versa? Yeah, I mean, I've always thought he was a great quarterback, um, even last year, just when, when they came here, just watching him play. Um, he has incredible arm talent, um, and he, he's, he's real smart. He's got a lot of weapons around him offensively. So, yeah, I just try to, you know, I try to watch him. I try to watch you know, every quarterback I can and try to just gather um, things from their game and use them in mine. How much can you guys take from watching the, f the film of game one against an FCS team, or do you really more fall back on kind of facing them last year? Talking about, like, uh, from? From learning what they do and kind of watching that film and seeing what they're capable of. Oh, so from their first game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they, I mean, they're going to play what they do no matter who they play. Just like, you know, we're going to run our stuff. We're not going to change, um, you know, a lot for any team. So, yeah, we're going to watch that game a lot and pick up on their tendencies and also watch uh, some of the games from the end of the year last year and, and uh, just try to get as much information on them as we can. Jake, there were a number of uh, strong quarterback performances in the SEC last week. Do you pay attention to that? Do you see what other starters in the SEC are doing, and do you kind of ever measure yourself against uh, against them wanting to you know, maybe just do a little better? Yeah, I mean, I – I definitely keep up with, you know, everyone in our uh, conference. Um, you know, I, I thought they – there were a lot of guys that had really good games, like you said. And I don't, I don't necessarily try to compare as much as I just try to um, just watch them. Um, you know, me and the, the guys that were at the Manning camp, we got, we got pretty close, um, you know, rooming with Austin Allen and uh, just being with Jalen a lot. Uh, Jalen Hurts a lot, just kind of got close with them. So, you know, we text and kind of talk about the game. So, yeah, I keep up with them. Jake, how crucial is it to have a strong running game this week considering Missouri's going to try to speed up tempo every time they have the ball? Yeah, we're going to have to uh, definitely take care of the ball offensively, um, keep our defense off the field and, and uh, keep the pressure on them. And uh, our running backs are ready. They're ready to have a big game and offensive line's ready to go. Jake, just talk about that uh, that NC State game. The fact that you guys had to, you know, answer um, the Wolfpack, you know, time in and time out. Just compare that from last year when you guys, you know, were learning. You were learning the offense. I mean, how, how far along has this offense been since last year to this year, especially in that first game? Yeah, I thought we uh, started out really well offensively. Um, obviously, it takes some pressure off when you juice the opening kickoff for a touchdown. But uh, yeah, I thought we came out. You know, firing on all cylinders. Uh, you know, really doing well in the in the passing game. I was really seeing you know, everything pretty clearly. Um, second half, we were backed up a few times. Um, didn't get a lot of first down production, uh, whether that be you know not getting a good gain on the run or uh, incompletions on first down. Kind of made it hard for us. But yeah, just uh, just way more comfortable in the offense this year, and um, and just more comfortable in, in how are we going to attack a defense and how we're going to get certain people the ball. I 
I guess when you, when you hear uh, the Missouri defense allowing 43 points, I guess when you hear hear numbers like that as an offense, do you do you like ears or your eyes light up saying, oh, we can probably you know produce some pretty high numbers, or what's the focus going into this uh, Missouri game? Yeah, our focus will be the same every week, um, just to go out there and execute our game plan to the best of our ability, uh, no matter who we play. And um, that was Coach Muschamp's message to us uh, today that you know we're going to come in this week with the same mentality and the same mindset that we that we have for the first week and just um, attack every day trying to get better. And uh, if we go, if we just go out there and execute our game plan, we'll be we'll be fine. You kept a lot of the tight ends in to kind of max protect this past week against NC State. How much more of a concerted effort will you? make to make sure that they're more involved in the passing game this week yeah uh you know Hayden and uh, Jacob did an outstanding job blocking um Hayden was actually one of our players of the game for that reason um really just the unselfish guy that really works his tail off in every in every aspect of his game and that's what we needed to do was stay in and block and have big blocks in the run game for us but uh you know that that is one of our you know areas we're going to try to get better at this week is getting him more involved in the game because he's he's an explosive player that can make a lot of, you know, big plays for us when we get when he gets the ball. So definitely gonna gonna use him more this week.